candidates of political parties participating in the Ondo state's governorship election have signed a peace accord in Akure, the state capital. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, said the pact was to ensure a violence-free election. Those who signed the accords today include the candidates of the All Progressives Congress, Rotimi Akiridulu, and the standard bearer of the People's Democratic Party. The candidates of the Zenith Labour Party and Akiridulu's deputy, Agbola Jai, also signed the accord, facilitated by the National Peace Committee. INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu said at the event that without peace, INEC's deployment plans, innovation in resorts management, safety of personnel, security of materials and above all credibility of elections would be on the Undermined, Sultan of Sokoto Abubakar Saad, Bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Hassan Kuka, former Bishop of Abuja Diocese, John Onayeko, and traditional rulers, among others, witnessed the signing. I can now speak to Femi Lawson, public affairs analyst, about the situation and the preparation of elections in Ondo State. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Lawson. Good evening. Now, there's uh, been a report that uh, there's over 350,000 uncollected PVCs in Ondo State, and that's more than 15% of the amount of registered voters. Uh, could this be a sign of impending apathy? What well, uh, the truth is that uh, the previous election, the lack of proper education and sensitization not only on the part of women, but on the part of political parties and uh, the sense to be responsible for that uh, huge number of staff that have remained of by eligible staff, especially the fact that the state came to a very crucial election such as the one to determine the next person of the state. So I think it's a kind of the level of the future and how much more the state all right. Um, what, what do you think is the status of the uh, political atmosphere in Ondo at the moment? Would you say the political thugs have shaped their swords, uh, especially with the peace uh, accord that was signed? Well, it's a, it, it's a, it's a development that given uh, from both of us because uh, it's last couple of days. There have been three occasions occasioned by clashes between supporters of major political parties within the place. So the implication of the National Peace Committee has brought uh, a good level of uh, assurance to the people. It has increased uh, the confidence of the people in their thoughts. Uh, I mean, they thought increased their willingness. So, Mr. Lawson, you are live in Ondo State. What would you say is the status of the political atmosphere? And uh, do you think the political thugs have sheathed their swords at the moment? Well, uh, the atmosphere has uh, passed today to the point of all the peace initiatives that have been participated by the National Peace Committee has improved the confidence of the people towards participation in the election. Like I said, and I want to say that uh, political violence in every election cannot just be attributed to supporters of political parties alone. Without the getting constant support of the political leaders. And that is why the signing of the peace accord becomes very, very important in this process. And not just signing of plans becomes very important also. It's a major way of telling even political terms and perpetrators of violence that it is something that is acceptable to the people, it is unnecessary, and it is unnecessary in an election. Now, still talking about that peace deal, it's been signed now. Do you think it will help uh, in, in you know, achieving a peaceful conduct of elections in Ondo State on Saturday? It will definitely do. Just like the witness, you know, the witness will come to the Ondo State government it gives assurance and it gives the confidence, just like I said. And uh, INEC has assured that they are fully prepared, but does the situation on ground in Ondo suggest uh, readiness? The situation here is such that uh, I saw 
that uh, in his school on the ground, he has been several advocacy consultations with stakeholders that are seen towards the conduct of this election. So, as far as the pressure of fitness is concerned, has been a great you know, improvement, and we are hoping that this is sustained towards the weekend so that we have you know, a fairly conducted, conducted election that devoid of any form of issue or delay on the part of Phoenix. But as far as today's concerned, the preparations of Phoenix have been very effective. Thank you very much for that uh, update, Mr. Lawson. It was great.